It's the stuff that makes your fried chicken and french fries so tasty. Cooking oil. But who knew that grease is actually liquid gold for thieves? It can be resold and recycled for use in all kinds of things, from pet food to perfumes. Well, the grease police are on their trail, and Inside Edition joined them. It might be the most bizarre crime ever. The hose is in the container. Thieves stealing of all things used cooking oil. Cooking oil is very valuable. I can't say enough how important it is. These Chicagoland restaurant owners say they had no idea the grease that makes their Bona fries and Brown's famous fried chicken so tasty is actually liquid gold for grease thieves. I didn't think the value was that great that somebody would come and steal it. I would have never have thought that there were people out there stealing grease from restaurants. Authorities say organized crime rings have made millions pumping used cooking oil out of special grease bins like these located behind most restaurants. Wow, look at that load of grease. The crime was even spoofed in a Simpsons episode. Hey, hey, you're taking our grease. It's our grease now. We run the grease racket in this town. But now the thieves stealing grease across the country have a target on their backs. They call us the grease police. Frank Scoggins used to bust bad guys as a Texas cop. And we're just looking for the suspects. Now retired, he leads a special task force nicknamed the grease police. There were so many thieves in some areas, it's just impossible to secure these, these lids. He and his team were hired by Darling Ingredients after tons of used cooking oil they refine and resell was getting hijacked from their grease pins across the country. He's into a container. He's putting a hose in it. That's going to be ours. Inside Edition investigative producer Charlie McElravey was invited along to see the grease police in action. This happens lightning fast. Yeah, he came in here. He wasn't here just a few minutes. And he's skimming, so he's getting straight oil. So he pumped about six inches. We picked up the trail of this alleged grease thief operating outside Chicago in broad daylight. He's prying up the edge. He's putting a hose in it. We tailed him as he made stop after stop to suck up grease. I'm right behind him, going to get on, and then I'm going to pull back. His route took him some 150 miles all the way from Chicago to Holland, Michigan. This looks like this is about the eighth container he's hit today. We were waiting for him when he walked out of this gas station. Excuse me, sir. We're with Inside Edition. Have you been stealing grease all day long? No. No? No. We've been following you in your truck as you've gone behind restaurant after restaurant and are pumping out grease. He didn't have much to say. Sir, are you just a grease pirate going around stealing grease from people? No, sir. So the grease police called in the real police. They stopped his truck and put him in cuffs. Altogether, Scoggins says he allegedly stole nearly 500 gallons of grease valued at almost $1,000. I want the thieves to know that if you think you're going to come out and steal cooking oil, we're coming after you and we're going to get you. That alleged thief bonded out of jail, but now there's an active warrant for his arrest because police say he failed to show up for a court hearing.